I'm Tammy Lozing here at the Orpheum Theater Center. Tonight we are hosting Ruben Ruiz Artworks. Stop on in and see our artwork, our artist. <laughs> Beautiful ceramics, we have treats here. Check out our Iowan Stage and Scream uh, gallery and have a visit with us. I think everyone is born ah, to be an artist and everyone is always going to be an artist so it's not really a time that I became one. I've always been one I guess. How are you? I grew up with parents that were very involved in art, so I've been influenced through my parents my whole life. Um, I've always been attracted to art. When I went to college, I didn't know what I wanted to do, so I did what I wanted to do, which was art for the most part, but I didn't know what I wanted to be, so I took a bunch of art classes, and that's when I found my true calling for painting, I guess. Um, and then I went to UNI and I learned how to paint in oils and I got really overwhelmed because I'd only painted with acrylic paint. And when I got out of UNI, or graduated, um, I started dabbling in mixed media and now I love all forms. It helped because my parents were creative and inspired me through artwork that they would be working on. Um, I think that when you're right-brained more so than left-brained, you definitely incorporate um, an eye for art and creativity. You see things differently. Um, if you start taking an art class, for the first time while you're an adult, I know a gal that I'm teaching painting to right now currently um, went to Florida and normally she doesn't go to art galleries and now that she's painting she decided to go to art galleries and she absolutely loves it. She sees things differently now. One thing that a lot of people always tell me is that you don't really have a certain style and it's true. I collect things that I'm attracted to, whether it be in magazines or books, screenshots on my phone, pictures, and I call it my art, uh, hoarding art catalog. Um, I also have an art journal that I like to stick a lot of things and practice things, but it just depends on the time of year, my mood. Um, sometimes I just go through this large hoarded art drawer and I look th for something to inspire me and once I get that feeling of inspiration then it kind of just flows naturally and I end up with something and it surprises me every time. Hi I'm Barb Hagstrand and I'm here on a beautiful Friday night in front of the green wall and I'm in Gallery Garden which is a private park with an urban style but open to the community. This garden and green space represents a complete rainwater harvesting system. Stormwater management, um, the fountain, evaporation, and um, it's called Gallery Garden because we have 10 different pieces of artwork that will be installed and be permanent outside um, productions. And they're uh, replications of my, my late husband, Larry Hagstrand, a very successful artist. I just, 
I just came back from down there. But My name is Mike Rickard. I live in Trier, Iowa, and I'm a retired artist. Not retired from being an artist, but I'm retired so that I can be an artist. <laughs> I've loved photography since I was a little boy, and with the advent of the computer, um, one thing led to another, and I'm able to express photographically and through uh, enhancement on the computer my artwork. I think the motivational or inspirational part for me is that it takes me away from, I can kind of escape through it while I'm doing the art and uh, that's a good feeling to just kind of get away from everything and be absorbed in what you're doing. I just want to thank the people that uh, put on the art walk for being so easy to work with and, and very nice to deal with and being able to put this on for the people of Marshalltown is really, really great and exciting. My name is Kent Ryan, I'm from Ames and I do wood burning. Um, most of the scenes I do are from around Iowa somewhere um, and I make a lot of little smart remarks on wood and uh, it's all here for our entertainment. <laughs> so how long have you been doing this? Uh, uh, about 10 years. 10 years. What, what got you Since started wood burning? Um, I did a picture for my wife for the dining room several years ago and she thought I needed something to keep me busy when I retired, so uh, not too long before I retired I had a brief layoff and she said, you know, this would be an ideal time for you to start that idea. And so that's what I did. Sounds so, like you have a manager. I do, I do. <laughs> that gives you more ideas for smart remarks. There you go. And she and her friends and our children and <laughs> Well, here at Art and Frame I Maine, we represent over 70 Iowa artists, or we actually call them Iowans, or artists with Iowa roots. Some have moved away, but they still share their artwork with us. Okay. And it's fun, fun, like going to an art festival, but all indoors. So tonight during Art Walk, we're glad that you're here, and we'll look forward to seeing you and seeing more art anytime. Okay. My name is Chris Grover and I'm an artist from Elkader, Iowa. How long have you been doing art? I've been doing art for 25 years. I've been doing art for the last 15 or 16 years in contemporary quilt arts and paper arts. Uh, I also work in abstract acrylic paintings, which is what you see behind me. I'm very versatile. I work in art, torn paper collage, acrylic painting. I teach classes such as art journaling, and that involves a whole bunch of different mediums. I also work with kids and adults, teach them how to do the art journaling, the acrylic painting, the torn paper collage, plus a whole bunch of other classes. And what inspires me the most when I do a certain piece is just to be able to capture the whimsy or the vibrancy of the piece. 
So for example, if I'm doing a torn paper collage painting, you'll see like the dog or the cows or the other animals, for example, featured in the peach. I want to capture their spirit, capture their, they have a little twinkle in their eye, I want to get that captured. So in this particular piece, which is an acrylic abstract painting, I want to capture the vividness of a meadow of wildflowers, just very wild and free and uh, just feels like you just step right into the field and you could just pick the flowers right now. I would say my mother inspired me the most. She was the one who encouraged me at a very young age and created little art kits for me when I was a very little girl and um, just encouraged me to do whatever I wanted to do in terms of exploring art. Um, I didn't have to color within the lines ever, certainly, and it was a great experience with her tutelage. If you're in the Marshalltown area, please stop into Art and Frame on Main, right here on Main Street in Marshalltown. If you happen to be over in northeastern Iowa, stop into the Left Bank Gallery in McGregor, Iowa. I'm also in Guttenberg at the Guttenberg Creativity Center. And as well, if you happen to be west of West Union in Fredericksburg, Iowa, stop into the Plum Creek Gallery. I'll find my work there as well. And you can also find me at my webpage, www.lunafiberartist.com. I'm John Mueller, I'm the uh, potter here, and I live here in Marshalltown. Okay. So, and uh, I have a variety of wood fired pieces, electric uh, kiln pieces, uh, raku, and then horsehair pieces. Uh, and the horsehair pieces are the all white pieces that wherever there's a black line, that's where the horsehair hits. So. And you've been doing this for how long? Since uh, the mid 70s. So I've been throwing pots for a long time. Most all my art goes to a small gallery in Amana, Iowa. I do this show and this is about, uh, and I do the Holiday uh, Central Iowa Art Association show. And as far as shows, those are the only two shows I do. And the rest of uh, I just uh, got doing it in high school and I kept doing it from there. My name's Will Hildebrand and um, I moved to the area in about 1980 taught high school art at LDF East Marshall for about 28 years and during that time I worked on my art, practiced during the summer and took workshops, took a lot of classes and, and now retired, still working on my art. Uh, oh, I enter shows, I enter museum competitions and do a few art festivals, uh, but mostly uh, interior art galleries around the area. So I have a lot of former students that are artists. I, I really keep in contact with them, and uh, I enjoy hearing about what they're doing. That make you feel good. It does very much. Yep. A lot of interest in uh, the Impressionists when I was studying and um, the materials they used, uh, pastels and uh, expressive watercolor techniques and uh, just their thinking about moving outside and creating a lot of color, common things. I like the common things. Uh, I'm Larry Holden from Marshtown, Iowa. Um, at the Art Walk here in town. I uh, do a lot of different uh, mediums, a lot of photography, sunrise, sunset, so about every color you can imagine. I uh, do some sculpture, some painting, colored pencil, a little bit of everything. Most of that, all that's around central Iowa. Um, there's a few in here, a couple of them from Colorado when I went out there. Um, but the majority of it is right in central Iowa um, area, over into Dubuque, across the river, over there into Wisconsin. But I've uh, been a photo bug for years, so I try and carry my camera, you know, wherever I go. What, uh, what pushes you to do so many different things? Um, it's just the creativity, I guess. You know, when I was a kid, I was always into art and everything like that. <clears throat> you know, when I graduated, there was never any talk about making a living. Uh, my name is Nicholas Beard. I'm from Marshalltown, born and raised. Went to school to UN at UNI for a few years. Now I'm a teacher at East Marshall School District, kindergarten through eighth grade. And 
most of my work is is very between extreme seriousness and extreme whimsicalness, I guess. No middle of the road stuff. <laughs> no, yeah, I mean, it's few and far between. Uh, but I get a lot of my influences from my youngest students, and then I get a lot of my more real life and like trials and everything from my older students and everything, well, along with my own. But um, I don't know, my biggest influence was probably my dad. He, he did a lot of very intricate things that led your eye around the work the entire time. And I thought that was really interesting because, you know, it, there's almost an entire gallery within one work of my dad's. So I kind of tried to follow that, that footstep and, um, you know, make a whole story in one snapshot. Just kind of like you look at something and you kind of try to see there's a whole thing going on here. This has been going on and it will be continuing to go on for a long time. So that's just, that's kind of what I try to do. And that's what's made it really fun for me. My goal is to have my students be better than me. And at this point, many, many students are becoming better than me. So I feel like I'm, I'm humbled by that. I, I think that I'm, I'm doing an okay job if they're passing me over and uh, continuing the, the art and everything. So. But it's art. Who decides what's better? True. <laughs> True. Yeah. But I mean, as long as they have the drive, as long as they, they continue to do it and they want to do it and they're following um, the path that, you know, they, they, they make a living with it, that's, that's amazing. And even if they don't make a living with it, if they're just doing it and, and continuing to be happy, if they're happy with it, then my job here is done. I'm here on a beautiful Friday night and the evening sun is setting. <laughs> Cut it before that. <laughs>